Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Let me show you what we're working on today. All right guys, so here's what we've got going. We've got this little closet in our bathroom and we're gonna turn this into this. So stick around, I'll show you how we did it. Let's go. All right, so here are some of the materials we're gonna use. I've got these one by two, um, just MDF trim pieces that are left over from a trim project that I just finished. We've got this piece of poplar that we're going to use for the front of the shelves. That'll paint up white really nicely. And then we're also going to use some MDF, which I'll show you in a minute. The first thing I'm doing here are cutting these strips. These are going to support the shelves and I'm just ripping them down to about an inch thick. Then I'm going to cut them to length, and this will just depend on the space that you're putting your shelves in. But you want them to fit tightly along three sides of the shelf. This is the MDF I mentioned earlier. It's a four by eight sheet, three quarters of an inch thick. And I'm cutting it outside because this stuff makes a huge mess. And it's also a lot easier to cut into smaller pieces and then take it to the table saw. Next I'll cut these pieces down to their final width and a little trick I like to do is cut that first piece just a little bit wider and I'll change the table saw fence to the actual final width and cut the next two pieces and then I'll go back and cut that first piece again to its final width. And this just helps because when the sheet is a little big sometimes it likes to wander a little bit on the table saw fence. Next I'm cutting the front strips that will cover the front of the shelf and these are cut to match the width of our support strips and then the shelf itself. And you'll see that here in a second. And I forgot to add a round over to those front strips. So I went back and did that here and then I'll just have to repaint a little bit. And I only added that round over to three sides as you'll see here, that strip attaches to the front edge of the shelf. So you want one of the corners to remain at 90 degrees so it meets up with that shelf. This is what I was talking about earlier. You can see that front piece on the shelf hangs down about an inch and that's gonna cover up our support strips on the wall. So now that I got the shelves all painted up, I'm gonna start attaching those first little support strips that we cut to the wall. I set up my laser level so that I can get them all perfectly level and aligned with each other. And then I found the studs and I'm drilling a pilot hole into the studs and then attaching each strip to the stud with two screws.
All right, shelves are in. Got a couple little spots on the walls patched up. Got my nail holes on the shelves filled in. I'm gonna let that dry, then I'm gonna sand that a little bit, do some touch up paint, and then we're gonna caulk all these edges to give it that finished look. All right, everyone, this project is done. Super happy with the way it came out. There's no gaps anywhere. The shelves look awesome. 